Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument is a U.S. national monument that includes the area around Mount St. Helens in Washington. It was established on August 27, 1982 by U.S. President Ronald Reagan following the 1980 eruption. The 110,000-acre National Volcanic Monument was set aside for research, recreation, and education. Inside the monument, the environment is left to respond naturally to the disturbance. Mount St. Helens National Volcanic Monument was the United States' first such monument managed by the U.S. Forest Service. At dedication ceremonies on May 18, 1983, Max Peterson, head of the USFS, said, We can take pride in having preserved the unique episode of natural history for future generations. Since then, many trails, viewpoints, information stations, campgrounds, and picnic areas have been established to accommodate the increasing number of visitors each year. Beginning in 1983, visitors have been able to drive to Windy Ridge, only 4 miles .4 kilometers northeast of the crater. Mountain climbing to the summit of the volcano has been allowed since 1986. Topic. Mount St. Helens Visitor Center at Silver Lake The Mount St. Helens Visitor Center at Silver Lake, about 30 miles 48 kilometers west of Mount St. Helens and 5 miles 8 kilometers east of Interstate 5 outside the monument, opened in 1987 and has been operated by the Washington State Park System since October 2000. Exhibits include the area's culture and history, and the natural history and geology of the volcano and the eruption, including the recovery of the area's vegetation and animal life. The center includes a theater, a gift shop and outdoor trails. By the end of 1989, the center had hosted more than 1.5 million visitors. A small admission fee is charged. The center was formerly operated by the U.S. Forest Service. Johnston Ridge Observatory The Johnston Ridge Observatory is located 52 miles 84 kilometers east of Castle Rock, Washington, at the end of Washington State Route 504, four miles from the mountain. Exhibits focus on the geologic history of the volcano, eyewitness accounts of the explosion, and the science of monitoring volcanic activity. Two movies and ranger-led programs are available every hour. A half-mile paved trail provides views of the lava dome, crater, pumice plain, and landslide deposit, with access to hiking trails in the restricted area. The observatory is located near the site of volcanologist David A. Johnston's camp on the morning of May 18, 1980, and opened in 1993. <laughs> Science and Learning Center at Coldwater The Coldwater Ridge Visitor Center in the Coldwater Lake area opened in 1993, operated by the Forest Service, but closed in November 2007 due to a lack of funding. The center reopened as the Science and Learning Center at Coldwater in May 2013, operating as an educational facility and conference center in cooperation with the Mount St. Helens Institute. It is open to the public on weekends from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Many of the exhibits have been removed, but the gift shop, theater, and some signage still exist. The Winds of Change Trail No. 232, a short, barrier-free interpretive trail, departs from the Science and Learning Center. <laughs> South and east sides of Mount St. Helens The southern and eastern sides of Mount St. Helens are accessible only by U.S. Forest Service roads. The main roads are U.S. Forest Service Road 25 Monument Entrance from U.S. Route 12 to Road 90. U.S. Forest Service Road 26 Road 99 to Norway Pass to Road 25. U.S. Forest Service Road 81 State Route 503, Road 90 to Merrill Lake, Kalama Horse Camp, and Climbers Bivouac. U.S. Forest Service Road 83 Road 90 to Ape Cave, Ape Canyon, Lava Canyon Lahar, and Smith Creek. U.S. Forest Service Road 90 Monument Entrance from State Route 503. U.S. Forest Service Road 99 Road 25 to Bear Meadows, Meta Lake and Miner's Car, and Windy Ridge. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Bear Meadows. Bear Meadows is an alpine meadow and viewpoint northeast of Mount St. Helens. It is located on U.S. Forest Service Road 99. Gary Rosenquist camped here with friends on May 17-18, 1980. He started taking his famous eruption photographs from this location. The sequence of eruption photos show give a time-lapse view of the developing eruption. As the lateral blast developed, he and his friends abandoned their campsite fearing for their lives. He continued taking photos as they escaped in a car. The eruption's lateral blast narrowly missed the site as it was deflected by a ridge just west of the meadow. In an interview with Kiro TV in 1990, a friend called that ridge, the line of death. <laughs> Windy Ridge Windy Ridge is the closest viewpoint accessible to the general public. Beginning in the summer of 1983, visitors have been able to drive to Windy Ridge, on U.S. Forest Service Road 99, only 4 miles .4 kilometers northeast of the crater. From this vantage point overlooking Spirit Lake, people see firsthand not only the evidence of a volcano's destruction, but also the remarkable, gradual but faster than originally predicted recovery of the land as revegetation proceeds and wildlife returns. <laughs> 